Crank up your stereos and let the party begin. It's the Dave and Sean Show. Sponsored by TopTalentBooking.com. And here's your host, Dave and Sean. I'm always hungry, though, so... Uh, Hey, welcome. It's the Dave and Sean show. I'm Sean, and that's Dave over there. Say hi. What up? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's Dave, <laughs> and it's uh, Sean Steely. You guys can find us, as always, on Facebook. Our lovely photos are on there. That's right. I'm the weird one. He's the cute one. Uh, it's at facebook.com backslash Dave and Sean 2019. On the Twitter universe, at the Dave and Sean show rocks. And uh, you can pretty much find us all over the place because we're all around. And if you have TP, we'll come to your house. No, I'm just kidding. Relax, relax. relax. Hey, I have a question. Well, what's your, what's your question? So, <laughs> I don't know anything about uh, Twitter. Yeah. That's, you know. Uh, the Twitter, yeah. Yeah. It was kind of hard, you know, because I'm much older and stuff like I'm that. I'm going to start there. a hashtag, man. You want to start a hashtag? What should the hashtag be? Dad bods unite. Dad bods unite? Yeah. So, what you saying about me? I don't have a kid, man. <laughs> I don't understand this, folks. He looks good. I look like my body could be donated to science fiction. I okay, I, I want to make that clear. But anyway. <laughs> I'm just taking or leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I do want to say a thing real quick here. Um, Bad Storm came through just a few weeks ago. And uh, we want to send our prayers to everybody uh, that was affected by the tornadoes, but especially Nashville that was hit hard. We Man. have a lot of musician friends out there. Uh, they're still rebuilding. There's lots of things between Red Cross and donations you can do to help them. So please, you know, keep your prayers going for everybody in in Nashville. I think we should have a moment of silence for all moment the victims. Of yes, and yes, Nashville just a quick moment of silence. Everywhere. Of course. I do want to thank our sponsor, Top Talents. You can find Top Talents uh, booking. Dot com is the website. Once again, toptalentbooking.com. They are on Facebook. They are all over the place. Uh, you name it, they can do it for you. Again, Top Talent, our sponsor. Very happy to be a part of that now. They're awesome, awesome people. They'll take real care of you for all your entertainment needs. Top Talent. Again, toptalentbooking.com. One more time, toptalentbooking.com. <laughs> you did the bunny ears, didn't you? No, that sync all three of us. I'm already yeah. like, I'm acting like I'm a part of the David Sean show. Like, oh, I have to do it too. <laughs> We're going to introduce our guest here real quick in just a second. Um, I do want to talk about, just real briefly, first of all, I want to wish a happy birthday to my idol, Mr. Chuck Norris. He turned 80 years old. Walker, Texas Ranger. 80 and still sexy. 80 and still sexy and still kicking ass, man. I got to say that about happy birthday to him. Um, also to the coronavirus, which is a big thing going on right now, I'm a little frustrated. I understand where they're coming from, but they have canceled a lot of sporting stuff, which has been canceled. Uh, uh, I don't concerts. Even concerts being canceled, postponed. Uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which was scheduled for May 2nd, has been postponed to a later date. Um, so far, the only show that I know is still going on is the stadium tour for Motley Crue, Poison, Joan Jett. I know that's still happening. There's okay. been no cancellation on that at all yet. Oh, well, why? Wow. Uh, even TV productions uh, from ABC to CBS. Uh, this is pulled off websites from TMZ and various different ones that I found. Uh, they are halting production for just a little while until things get a little more under control. But I do want to say before we get to our fabulous, beautiful, talented person over here, what is up with the toilet paper? It is not a big deal. Oh, I don't want to offend I anybody. Agree. But to sit there and go through every Walmart in southeast Missouri and see every bare shelf, it's like watching a bunch of people fighting for, like, uh, the last thing of food even on the planet. The, you know what I mean? cheap $1 little the four packs. Yeah, like, yeah. gone. <laughs> gone. 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 <laughs> I think, was, I think what was really crazy was I saw somebody making a toilet paper fort in the back end of Walmart, so I just want to... No, that was just a little weird, but anyway, stop hoarding the toilet paper, guys. It's not a big deal. I need deal. toilet paper at my house. We need it to be a little nice. But We've been preparing for this Look, people are yeah. fighting Attic in Walmart, like physically paper. getting in fist yeah, fights over toilet, toilet paper, paper, man. Sanitizer, too, and everything. It's just like crazy. It is ridiculous. It is just crazy, so... Stop hoarding the toilet paper. The alcohol yeah. chef shelves are fine. I don't. Yeah, get the keep, alcohol. That's the essentials. Get the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> Leave the TP alone. You know, we need it. We have to have it. No, anyway, I would like to welcome our very special guest. And please, no slapping the table, guys. No slapping the table. Keep We've your hands been told the table. not to do that. Sorry if it's Sean, been bugging you. Sean, be good. Be good. Okay. Just kidding, guys. I'd like to welcome uh, our special <laughs> guest Amber from the band Grand Opening. Amber. 
I'm ecstatic to have, finally have you here. I am I'm honored to be here. You guys are wonderful, and this is going to be fun. And we're here at Top Talent Studios, and we're just having a great time. So. Again, yeah. again, guys, our sponsor, Top Talent. <laughs> These guys with the cool logo behind We're getting, behind like, we're getting sarcastic about it uh, now. Top, top Talent again. <laughs> top Talent will take care of you. They have everything you need for your entertainment needs, catering, everything, man. Top Talent, Facebook. You can find them at toptalentbooking.com. It's got a list of all the bands, all artists. Uh, she's even on there, too. Absolutely, yeah. And it's, a, and it's a lovely picture of you. You're like, huh. Oh, yes. I only take like pictures like, that, like yeah. this. Aww. <laughs> uh, once again, uh, thanks to our sponsors, uh, Top Talent, toptalentbooking.com. Before we get into some questions with you, yeah, where are the rest of the band? Uh, okay, so they really just like me. They every time I tell them I was like, let's go do a radio interview, they look at me like I'm the craziest person in the world. So they like me to um, do the face to face interaction. They're the coolest guys ever, though. My dad is the drummer. He's um, if that tells you anything about the uh, atmosphere in our band. <laughs> and then uh, um, Nick is. Out of town. I don't know where he went, but he said that he's going out of town. He lives actually from St. Louis, so he's from the St. Louis area. So he's up there probably visiting his family. And then Mike, um, I believe, is at work right now. Or avoiding me. One or the other. <laughs> She's so nice. I, don't, I can't see avoiding her. Could you? No. I couldn't see that. I could they... not see that. <laughs> She's so awesome. She's actually, I'm not going to say exactly where we live, but she's actually my neighbor down the street. Mm, yes, well, they could probably figure it out really easy where I'm from. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> Mayberry? <laughs> yep. Sorry. Cross the line there. But they uh, wanted to be here. They're just, um, my dad's at work, and they've just got other things going on, unfortunately. But First of all, how did you guys, Sean and I were talking about this, how did you come up with a name out of anything grand opening? When I tell people we're interviewing grand opening, you're going to a store? Yeah. Well, when I well, looked you up on YouTube, it was all like grand opening, like videos of <laughs> businesses. Grand yeah, spy, I'm like, what? I don't, I don't know what I'm. So <laughs> our original band name, and you'll get a kick out of this, was actually um, Fleetwood Mac and Cheese. We did not take each other seriously whatsoever. We had just a little thing going on. We actually ha handed out like 25 cent boxes of. Um, macaroni and cheese. Uh, we've gotten a lot more serious since then. I, <laughs> I, cool I, I, I feel like contacting, I've got a friend that's a rep that knows Fleetwood Mac. I feel like going to one of their concerts sometime and sitting there with mac and cheese and stuff, like on stage and stuff. It was just too silly. Like, it was the <laughs> most silly name you could ever think of. Did but you, did, when you were called Fleetwood Mac and Cheese, did you ever eat a bowl of hot macaroni and cheese on the stage? I, we should have. We definitely should have, but no. Um, I begged them every time. I, I thought we should maybe have, like, a macaroni chef and do, like, a presentation. Just See, like, I, I, I think you should, because Lomez, world. who interviewed... Uh, just uh, not too long ago, they were they were throwing out like donuts and stuff to the audience. You guys should do the macaroni. And cheese <laughs> just thing. throws, yeah, absolutely. Throw out hot steaming hot macaroni. bags of macaroni. No, 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 she's like, yeah, right. woo, right I there in the audience. I don't see why anybody <laughs> should have been Got mad about that. Hey, I like him. All right, woo, right there in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, but we came up with grand opening because um, it's it's a scheme because we try to get people to come to our shows because they think it's um, a like an actual great opening so it's worked a lot it's still working like i just got a private message from someone who said it took me 20 minutes to figure out that you guys are a band um because the, every venue says grand opening live at and we it took us forever to realize that it was a band name so it's worked several times um venues have actually probably been mad at us before but we looked at and we said what you just made a little extra money that day so <laughs> everybody came out and people know about your business more so it's a win-win but it's also just a you know, we've, we've gotten to open for a lot of cool things because of that name. They're like, we're going to have grand opening come and open our event for us. So, But it's just, we like, we're, we try to make it grand. So, How did you guys all officially, like, you said your dad's in the band, which I think is really cool. <laughs> I think that's awesome. That is cool. um, how did you guys all officially, like, come together as far as forming forming the band? I think we literally found Nick on Craigslist. Okay. Like, I literally think that's how it went. Um, we just needed... I found Sean on Tinder, so... <laughs> Hey, no, don't, don't Weird. Shut up, just stop. But, uh, um, so I think we literally, it actually started as my dad's original project. Um, they were learning, he had a goal to learn the entire um, Animals Pink Floyd album, cover to cover. That's and dope. they did that, and then I stole them all from my band. So they still think about it all the time. It's like, one of these days we're just going to do it, and people are not going to know what's happening, because album, I mean, Animals is just 
the one of the one of the stranger Pink Floyd albums, but it's it's awesome. It but uh, so I stole Nick and Dad and I had been playing music together for most of my life, and where this has been the most serious we've ever been about it. And then uh, we've gone through a couple other members. Um, basically, my uncle Gary has been in the band too. He's still you know he's still around. He'll join us every once in a while. And then uh, we have a new bassist, Mike Michael Johnson, and he's absolutely incredible we stole him from another band sorry <laughs> he's a great guy and i we really have a good mesh now with our sound it's going awesome what i love about your voice man i've i've been around music for so many years and god i feel really old just saying that now um you have like that most incredible voice that i've ever heard it's just like an, how can i say this an old soul you know a lot it, of the music that you've been singing it, it is it's incredible your voice is you know i appreciate that no well, i mean i'm influenced mostly by older genres you know so i listen to a lot of 60s 70s classic rock is really my genre i love old country and so i'm just i'm, get, I'm getting that from both sides of my family and just it's it's i'm in i'm in the mixing pot of our country basically so i i'm influenced by a lot of different types and styles but classic rock you know such people as you know, Janis Joplin, um, Led Zeppelin, those are my main influences for sure. I saw you do uh, uh, Fleetwood Mac songs. Yeah, I was just literally when Stevie I saw Stevie is yes, my queen. I love yeah. Stevie Nicks. <laughs> Absolutely, um, yeah. When I saw you do that, I was just like, holy crap. I was just like, wow. And my wife is so glued into certain styles of music. Uh -huh. And when I heard that, I said, you've got to hear this. And my wife's like, holy crap, wow, she's uh -huh. good. So my wife's now a fan. That. But I'm trying to, you know... But my generation's hip to it too, you know. They just, they just never, they're never around it. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Um, I went to a concert years ago for uh, Sticks was the headliner, Billy Squire and Bad Company, and I saw wow. more younger kids at the yeah. concert than I see somebody my age or you know older from from that decade. It was, and then when Sticks got on stage, it was just literally just packed full of like college I, kids. Just I the wanted, show. To, I wanted to see Sticks. Oh my God, I love Sticks. Sticks was my grandpa's favorite band. I love Sticks. Well, you mentioned Joan Jett earlier in that tour that's going on. I saw her this summer, and she is just, uh, you know, just absolutely amazing. And I look around, and it's it's my generation too. You know, yeah, I think that's we, really cool. You know, seeing cool. that, um, it is cool. What's it um? Do you guys have any like original music that you guys are doing? And the, the part two to that question is. Like who does all like the writing? Yeah, I mean, what's the writing process? So, with, yeah. um, we're that's kind of our new. Um, we've been a cover band together. We, we finally have a good mix. We've been together for about three years now, and um, we've taken the step here the last um, few months with um, my writing. And so they are learning my music, and so I'm writing it all. And then, so I'm not a I'm not a proficient guitar player, but so I get to take something with just the bare bones of the chords bring it to them and you know sometimes dad just says hey let's go let's go jam a bit and i'll show them something we have and we just go from there so they co-write musically i come with the melody and the lyrics and such and sometimes they throw a little input on that too <laughs> <laughs> what's it i mean what's it like being in a band with your dad i mean i just I, i'm sorry i still think it's like <laughs> no, the coolest that's... thing you know it's just uh, like kid does your dad like, let you like get away that shows do you like <sighs> Get away with a lot of and stuff. Get yeah. up. Well, the, uh, mom, I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> we walk, we walk we out of, um, you know, we, we we're walking out of the house, and she says, "All right, you guys, be good." And like, it's it's, she's literally talking to both of us. So <laughs> um, uh, it, it's kind of a he. It's awesome though because I have um, the number one person in my life, you know, with me. Because sometimes, you know, being who I am in some of these bars and such, you know, you got you need someone on your team looking out for you. And I have just like the best person. And then we have a ball together. It, it, it is a it is a family uh, thing, though. So of course, there's times where he's mad at me about something, and it's um it's turning into a big long. He, he if you know my dad Rick, he is just the most um colorful person so he'll he has these impressions of me he loves to do and so he'll sit there back there i'll give him about five minutes to get it out and then and then nick nick's over there he's part of it too he's like oh it's just part of the band they're sitting there screaming at each other and we're just waiting for it to end <laughs> so but that's father daughter and that's a little bit of rock and roll too so i'm so. hoping that they get to watch this video man you guys gotta come in i gotta hear this I need to. I think our audience needs to hear. Yeah, I think so too. Oh well, I hope so too. I mean, I, I we I love performing, and when the audience is there too, and and they're hearing, we like we try not to play the songs that everybody hears all the time with a cover band, and so we play like those types of songs that you know, but it's almost like you forgot about them. So and we we do them in a totally different way. I love taking a song that's traditionally sang by a man 
and just turning it on its side, you know. You definitely rocked it. There was a seeker song that I saw that you did. Oh, yeah, night, night Moves. I had to pull yeah. teeth to get them to learn that. I'm like, oh, listen, yeah? people are going to dig this. And what, 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 I loved, <laughs> what, what I loved about you, and I, I'm, I'm going to continue to say that as long as I'm you know friends with you and know ah! you for the rest of your life, mate. I loved how you just took the song and did it where... You know, it was just something I could see you like doing this on a record, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, I love covers. Yeah, um, I'll I'll play an original later on, and I'll I'll play a cover too. Um, I just love taking. You know, sometimes I feel like lyrics are forgotten a lot in music these days, and you got there's so many songs with such incredible lyrics to them. I like to make sure that with my singing that the lyrics are are brought to attention in my songs. Do you guys get into like any crazy arguments and stuff when you guys are out like doing a small tour, doing shows? Yeah, and stuff? What, I mean, what, it what, is what are, literally. What are, what are, what are, give us an example, I guess. What are the craziest <sighs> arguments? You know, being uh, in the band. I, you know, um, there's certain points in songs where um, one of us always traditionally messes up, or just um, Nick is just an incredibly. He's a hilarious individual, but he won't let you know that almost kind of in a way. So he'll do something and we'll just, we'll actually tear into him about it. But it's mostly dad and I, and it could be over as something as silly as, um, I didn't want a water bottle. I wanted like water from the fountain or something like it is literally something as simple as that. And it could, it can go from there. We recently, we bought a new vehicle. We all used to all five of us when we were five piece pile into my dad's Buick and we'd drive, you know, from... Uh, Perryville to Memphis to Missouri and back in one day and it was we had pictures of us all just crammed in there so you can imagine fights can uh, arise from anywhere <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah kind of like you and me man just like hey we're bored pull my finger okay anyway yeah it's yeah. just but it it turns off uh, you know he, he'll he call me out or I'll call him out. I was like all right are you done <laughs> it's basically what we just have to say are you done but it's always fun and it's it's uh, what's nice about it is he's my dad and I'm his daughter, so nothing we could ever say to each other is gonna absolutely. No one's ever gonna quit the band, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, what is like my next question is what What are like future plans and stuff like that as far as for grand opening? Um, that's one question I do want to ask to you if you could mention to you a couple of the songs original wise that you. That yeah, you're... so um, my goal right now is I'm about to graduate school, right? Um, I'm uh, I'm taking it. I'm taking it all in with this and so what I'm hoping to do next is record so take a few of my songs get them recorded see if anybody's interested in them I just want to be involved in music really any way I can so playing my band traveling around playing at every honky-tonk in every small town we're fine with that you know but I want to make sure that um you know I give this my all and get my music recorded and see if there's anything out there that you know I can write about I just want to just want to do it all I guess but the band itself we're going to be traveling and recording and those are the big things we got coming up. We we travel from Carbondale to Memphis to St. Louis to Paducah to everywhere. But I want to go. We want to travel. So that's why we got the suburban of love now. So we all pile in there and travel across. And not a, everybody has a good foot of space around each other. Yeah, kind of hard being cramped in there for a while. Yeah. Long <laughs> yes, I understand that. Um, one of the songs. I guess you could talk about one of your original songs. What what is the name of it? What was the inspiration behind that? Um, well, I have one, I guess, um, I guess I'll talk about the one that I'm doing today, but, um, it's called Come Down With Me, and it's, it's a great song about, um, you know, having to, having to let go of some of your vices and come, and come down and just, uh, and be stable again, and so that's, it's kind of, it's kind of like a last hurrah song, I guess, and so there's always those times where, you know, where you're on the road or so, and you, you know, you have a great time, but you're gonna have to come home and settle back into reality for a <laughs> second, and I think we all have trouble with that, you know.
had my fun and been a little too bad. ask this with bands where they're playing out of different places um do you have your thing like the weirdest fan or the weirdest person that's actually like come to a show these are the best stories a lot Um, of bands that have told us we we gotta ask this with everybody we 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 gotta ask you like the weirdest fan that you've ever dealt with yeah um definitely it's always people who like come up and ask you to do songs like you don't no, like, never. It's not even, like, what you play. They're like, can you play, can you guys play this Usher song that I really like? I'm like, we're a rock band. But, um, I don't know, dude. Uh, I get approached by women a lot. Like, I don't know why, but, like, there's always, like, the Rhonda in the crowd that's just, like, you're going home with me. And I'm like, I'm going home with my band. But (laughs) (laughs) So they always, it's so weird, you know, guys, too. But the women, I mean, sometimes... Sometimes, I guess something with me that just strikes a chord and they're like, I'm gonna, you know, whatever. But <laughs> those are the craziest because they won't stop. Like, they'll harass you until you're in the car, lock the door, and you're driving away. God so, damn. but uh, it's always fun because, um, like I said, I don't worry a lot because I always got my dad with me. So, <laughs> I can't get into too much. <laughs> <laughs> See, with me, when I go out, I always got my wife, you know, because she totally yeah. kicks some ass, man. And she really can kick ass. Oh, God, just shiver. <laughs> um, I've witnessed. Yeah, he has too. Um, future stuff, uh, some future shows coming up. Uh. The most thing that I'm super excited about, though, is um, we're headlining the Pride Fest this year. So that's going to be May 3rd that they're having that. And I think they're having a downtown this year. So we're playing Saturday night, and that's going to be awesome. I love being a part of that event for our community. It's it's a great, awesome. great I do event. know um, Sean and I are going to try to uh, come out and hang out with you. And Absolutely, meet the rest yes. of the band. I'm going to yeah. get a rainbow shirt. I'm already like planning my outfit. I'm thinking I'm gonna get like a jean jacket and like have the rainbow fringe or something. I think that's kind of cool. Be fun. I just want somebody to talk to me. So well, yeah, <laughs> come on out. I mean, you get to, the whole band will be there, and we'll be we'll be on one that night. We'll be having a lot of fun. Uh, maybe somebody will buy this handsome guy a drink. Four forty nine. I'll be there with my wife. But uh. I don't even know if they're selling alcohol, but it's downtown, so you can just like walk across the street and get a drink. That's right, ladies and guys. He's right here. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) This guy. The Dave and Sean Show is brought to you by Top Talent. Do you need entertainment? Visit their website at toptalentbooking.com. Sure. Um, If you want to go ahead and plug, like, uh, Facebook and any sites that want to come check out what's going on. sure. Yeah, Um, we're on Facebook, grand opening, um, the band, not um, any other place that's opening sometimes it'd be a little hard to find us great opening there's a picture of me and the guys on there uh all of our upcoming events we have a website that's www.grandopeningmusic.com and i updated it today so it's ready to go so, um and i'm on instagram at amber van Dieven. you can add me on facebook as well amber van Dieven. so you can keep up with me on top talents page too they post about me every once in a while on there and uh so that's where we're at right now 
So if are you on YouTube? We are. I'm on YouTube. I, you know, you're calling me out right now, so I, 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 I am need, because I, I tried to... so hard to find you on YouTube. I know. Yeah, we need. I need to. Uh, <laughs> there's actually. Um, I think there's a few videos <laughs> doing some singing, like late night singing sessions. Yeah, there. There. I honestly could not tell you what is on Facebook of me or not on, on YouTube of me, and that's what's kind of scary. Because I used to. Um, I used to do singing competitions and stuff, and oh. so there's probably literally videos of me when I was eight years old on YouTube. Really? I think I'm just gonna wow. leave them. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's that's like the cool. deep dive, you know. It's like the deep. So dive. that when you're rich and famous and you're 80 years old and you don't, it's like the old the Justin Bieber pictures, music. you know, yeah. <laughs> the videos. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna go there. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Uh, for various reasons, changing the subject. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm not gonna go there. <clears throat> Um, Amber, once again, thank you. Uh, looking forward to you know coming to see you guys thank live. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Um, and like I said, do forewarn everybody that we're going to come up to the Pride show. And yeah, we're gonna I will, uh, uh, look, I will we'll put scope, a cautionary we'll out on the interview. event right we'll now. We'll scope out a behind the backstage interview. Oh, yeah, we'll come backstage. Like, tell, who tell are you. these guys? That they say they're like with the band and that they're going to jump somebody if they need to. Like, <laughs> they also don't have shirts on. <laughs> Again, Amber, thank you. Looking forward to seeing you guys uh, coming up in May. Uh, looking to hear some uh, some some music from you. Um, thank you so much. Um, once again, a big thanks to uh, our sponsor, Top Talent, Josh, uh, Derek, everybody, man. Thank you so much, guys, for taking such good care of us. And they will take care of you. I can't stress this enough. Uh, catering, DJs, music, you name it. These guys are the, the, the place to go compared to anybody else in the entire United States and all over the world. Top Talent is, you got to do it, man. Um, you want more details? Top Talent, of course, is on Facebook. And you can go to the website at toptalentbooking.com. They've got literally everything on there that you need for information. Also, to a uh, picture of this, this lovely lady here. Her yeah, it's basically like... Amazon for musicians. Right, so, Amazon for musicians. And, uh, if you want to call so if you that. need entertainment and you need the best entertainment in this area, you'd, you'd go to Top Talent at Amazon.com. I'm just kidding. But Top Talent. <laughs> and they'll take care of you. Derek yep. and Josh and Terry are they're awesome. So Terry too, up. man. Big kudos to Terry too, man. Awesome. Uh, Josh, everybody. Uh, again, toptalentbooking.com. Make sure you write that down. I'll say it one more time. Toptalentbooking.com. You gotta do it. Spring and summer's coming up, man. There you go. Um, follow us again on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Dave and Sean 2019 and on Twitter at the Dave and Sean Shell Rocks. You'll see our beautiful picture up there just going like this. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Amber, thank you. <laughs> Sean, never mind. Thank you very much. We'll talk Peace. to you soon. Peace. <laughs>